Thank you, Zara, here. <clears throat> Matthew was uh, the first friend I made in Los Angeles. When I moved there, I was 21. He was 16. We did a pilot together called Morning Maggie that never saw the light of day. But Matthew and I became really good friends. And um, we were really more like brothers for a long time. Um, we drank a lot together. We laughed a lot together. Uh, we were there for each other in the early days of our uh, career. I really loved him. A lot of us who were close to him felt like we lost him to drugs and alcohol um, a long time ago because as he documented it in his autobiography, there was so much suffering. I had to pick up and put down that biography like 11 times. It was so painful for me to read. It was really, as his friend who loved him, I, I knew he must be suffering, but the details of it were just devastating. Just that was physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. You know, from a recovery perspective, I mean, I'm a sober guy for 17 years. I want to say that the night I went into AA, Matthew brought me in. Um, the whole first year I was sober, we went to meetings together. And he was such a great... I got to tell him this. He was just, as a sober person, um, he was so caring and giving and wise, and he totally helped me um, get sober.